Here we are at our final communion table, understanding ownership. Joy opened her final message of Song of Songs chapter four and a summary of the many word pictures describing our beauty, our desirability, and our worth. The intent of these extravagant compliments is to reveal to us, one, that God's love is thorough, two, God's love is intimate, and three, God's love is without reservation. It's at this place in our love walk with him that we respond with a prayer of release and surrender. We no longer dismiss our worth, although we may try. Joy told us it's not healthy. What our beloved says is beautiful and worthy must become his truth in our hearts. It must overtake any lies we've been told, even lies we've told ourselves. Joy encouraged each of us that if this stirs something in us, that it needs to be addressed and that we do it sooner rather than later. So we're gonna take a few minutes now at the table of our Lord to hear him say in Song of Songs 4-7, Thou art all fair, my love, there is no spot in thee. chapter 6, ownership has shifted from that described in chapter 2. There's been a shift of power, Joy told us. I am my beloved's is now the first stanza of the verse. Surrender is the main theme, and maturity is the expression of our love walk with him. Take your teaching chart in your hand. Spend these next few minutes talking with the Holy Spirit about your growth process. Ask him to identify the healthy growth patterns in your walk with him, and perhaps where you may be stuck in an unhealthy pattern. It's here we need to guard against becoming too spiritual, where we may be unwilling to return to the nurturing of our first love as we move across these dotted lines in a healthy manner. Talk with our precious Holy Spirit and let him settle the matter of surrender and maturity in your relationship with him. Galatians 2.20 may just give you the words you need to declare as you take communion.
Chapter 8 brings two extraordinary pictures to bear. In verse 5, the question is asked, Who is this coming up from the desert, leaning on her beloved? It's here we learn that others are watching. They're watching how we handle life. In the wonderful times, we must be careful not to become prideful and self-promoting. And in the painful seasons, we must guard our hearts from anger, isolation, and withdrawal. In either season, it's never too late to lean on your beloved. Just now, allow Holy Spirit to search your heart. If pride or self-promoting spirit has risen within you, repent. If anger, isolation, and withdrawal have taken hold, forgive. And then lay your head upon his shoulder and rest there. And finally, chapter 8, verses 11 and 12 portray a contrast picture of a vineyard for rent and one owned. The rented vineyard speaks of insecurity and uncertainty. It leaves a tenant feeling unsafe, vulnerable, and even unloved. But we have come to the understanding that my own vineyard is mine to give, speaking to us of ownership. There is no slave spirit here. My life is mine to give. We have looked after our vineyard and we freely and completely give it to our beloved. And he has access to its fruit in every season. Rejoice today as you take communion in the freedom we have to surrender our lives to him in every season.
take the bread and the juice into your hands. 1 Corinthians 11, 24 through 26 reads this. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. For on the night that he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks. He broke it and he said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup and said, this cup is the new covenant established by my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's eat and drink. Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run fountain I drink from, oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life, oh, he is my song. You are good, good. my heart be the fire inside my veins let go of my days oh he is my song you are good good oh you are good so good so good oh you are good good oh you are good Jesus, you are so good. Oh, you're never gonna let, never gonna let, never gonna let me down. No, no. Oh, you're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down, Jesus. Oh, you're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. No, no. Oh, you're never gonna let. Never gonna let me down, cause you are God, so God. Oh, you are God, God. Oh, God, so God. Oh, you are God, so God, so God. So God, Jesus, you are. So May God's perfect love swallow up every single fear and anxious thought. May Jesus renew your perspective in a way that brings you peace and assurance. May God fine-tune your spiritual ears so you can hear heaven's song over you, above the chaos and the noise. No matter what you're going through, May you know in the depths of your soul that you are loved. Jesus loves how he made you. Seasons come and seasons go, but God's love for you never changes. He loves you with power and passion. May God's kingdom come. May his will be done everywhere you place your feet today. Have a powerful, blessed day in him.